Well, here it is. An innocent looking box. This is how it comes and you can get a good idea from the box of what this does. Okay. So the idea of this is that barbecuing people think of as being a flat plate mm -hmm. and you put meat on it and you cook it. Mm -hmm. And after you've done that for a while, um, there's a good opportunity to, to maybe think of some other things. Right. But we, uh, it's got to be easy. Yes. You don't want to make it too difficult. Yes. So what Manlaw did was they come up with what they call the five-in-one multifunctional grill topper. Okay. So this will take you to a new world of barbecuing. Love it. A new universe. <laughs> <laughs> but what it does is it basically it, you use it on normal barbecue, but you can use it over campfires, you can use it on public barbecue areas. Oh. So you go to a barbecue area and you think, oh, there's a barbecue there, but it looks pretty grotty yes. and so on. Yes. So Manlaw have bought this. So what it is, Love it's basically it. a little stainless steel box. Mm -hmm. Oh, they can see it. Come that you can board. put on your barbecue plate. Yep. And you get a nice stainless steel surface here. Okay, so does it have to be on the grill plate or does it go on the flat plate? Uh, normally go on the grill because you want the heat to come up come through, through it. Okay. And yes. when you go to a lot of the public barbecues, you'll notice that it's actually a grill plate. Right. And if you're out camping, you want to light a fire and stuff like that, mm -hmm. it's actually just that you can put it straight on top of the fire. Fantastic. Okay. So what it is, you get the stainless steel plate. Mm -hmm. Now, you can put on meat, you can put on anything on top of that and it will cook and you get your, it's like taking your own little barbecue plate with you. Okay. So, that's there. Just to give you an idea, with the, um, with the, the plate, you can also use it for um, jalapenos. Oh. Now, if you've ever seen jalapenos in the shops, you can buy them. They're like a, a not very hot chilli. No, yeah. And there's little holes in there, so uh -huh. you can put the jalapenos in there. Yeah. and they roast perfectly. Oh, now you can yeah. use them for chilies, you can use them for capsicum, you can use them for tomatoes, you can use them for onion. A lot of the, um, the vegetables yes. you can put on there as well and it sort of holds them, they won't roll off and so uh -huh. on. Uh -huh. So they look attractive at the same time. They do. But all they're doing is going ahead and cooking to, uh, to, cook to perfection. So that's a, a one kilo mm -hmm. roast. So for instance that would go on there easily and cook. Sure. So. The best thing about it is that that's something you can take with you, but if you're at your barbecue at home, yes. you can also use it for smoking. Oh. So what's the idea behind smoking? It's a very traditional way of cooking meat over in some of the other more exotic countries around the world. Smoking gives a new and different flavour, right? Yeah, smoking adds flavour to meat. So with what Manlaw have done is you pull the front of that unit out mm -hmm. and you get some smoking chips, mm -hmm. which are just wood chips. Yep. And you can get them in all different flavours. And you put them in there. And you slide that in under where your meat is. Now, as the flame heats that, the, the gentle smoke will come up around the meat. So it infuses through the meat. Yeah. And flavours so, the meat. And some of the flavours you can get are fantastic. You know, in you can get chips. apple, yeah, and cedar, and all sorts of flavours. Oh, my goodness. Like apple bark, and oh, there's lots of them. Okay. So, where do we get those from? Any barbecue shop, okay. any hardware store these days has them. All right, great. So they're, they're great. So it's a very simple way that if you want to try something draw. different on the barbecue, cool. yeah. if you want to try something different, it's an easy way to try it yeah. where you're not, you don't have to outlay a lot of money, you can try it, you, nothing's going to go wrong. Yes. It's a simple way of doing it. Okay, so, brilliant. Not, so that's one part of the uh, smoking idea. And, and clearly, uh, does this handle, so how do we act around it when, it, does it all get warmed up? Yes, it does. Okay. It so does get hot. Don't, don't touch it with your hands no. until it cools down. And do we put the lid down or do we just let that go ahead <laughs> uh, to cook with the lid open? Or? Either way. Either way, okay. For smoking it's either way because when that, um, that tray heats up over the flame, mm -hmm. it'll heat the, the bark or the chips or whatever the flavouring chips you put in there is mm -hmm. and then the, it will come up through. Okay. And then it, it's... It'll surprise you. Even the simplest cut of meat yes. with a little bit of wood chip flavouring gives it that real barbecue flavour. It's okay, absolutely fantastic. Okay, so you've fantastic. turned a budget cut of meat into a gourmet cut of meat, basically. Well, that's true. Yeah. Yes. And that's because you want something that is going to last, something that is going to take, uh, stand the test of time in terms of being in the bar on the barbecue wherever you take it. I like the fact that you don't have to have the lid down because some people don't have barbecues oh, no. that are perhaps that fancy. Oh, that's exactly right. And you don't have to have a very expensive barbecue right. to really have some fun with it. I'm glad you said that. Um, yeah. Because all you need is even a campfire mm -hmm. or a simplest barbecue you can imagine. And with the addition of the five-in-one, you can do things like smoking.
The other thing that's very interesting and, and lovely and it's interesting and it's um, one of those things that people would love to do yeah. is to use a humidifier. Right. So if you get a, a nice chunk of meat like we've got here. Yes. They often dry out when they're on the barbecue. Yes, they do. Yes. So with I've the man law. With a very expensive cut of meat. I had that happen to me. <laughs> so we have these two little trays that mm -hmm. go in there and they're completely uh, waterproof. Mm -hmm. So you'd fill them with some flavouring or even just water. Okay. Or beer. Some of the guys like to put beer in there and they get a bit of a flavouring. Yeah. You slide that into the five in one. Easy. On there, the meat on top. And what it does is you, it's almost like a steam cooker. Ah. So the, the heat warms the liquid. Mm -hmm. The liquid then floats up gently around the steak, flavouring the steak. Nice. How long would it take to cook a piece of meat like that? Um, that size meat, you don't want to cook it too quick. No. I would allow so 90 cooker. minutes. 90. Oh, that's pretty good. 90 minutes. Yeah. Put it on when everyone arrives and by the time they're sort of, you know, having their first beer, you, you come back and your meal's ready to go. Eli was thinking the same way as me. Yes. Okay. So that's not all it does though. So we've just spoken no. about uh, smoking. Yep. Um, best kind of smoking, um, this type. And then we have also spoken uh, about the fact that you can use these little holes for different types of vegetables, but there's so much more to talk about. What else are we going to do here? All right, so just to give you an idea, there's a, a, a fish that we smoked on it. Wow. So you can, I don't know if you can see that, but um, that really comes up well. Now, that's just a piece of fish. Yes. But once we spent an hour or so smoking it and putting it on a bit of capsicum, it, it's just... Made very gourmet. A meal of it. It's very gourmet, as yes, you say. Yes, it is. It is very gourmet. Um, they're just coming in for the shot of camera four there over your head, Len. You probably haven't seen yourself um, up there, but that is to show. Look at that. So, um, it, it's has it sort of glazed over the top of the fish there? Yeah, what happens is when you put some bark chips in or you get the flavoured wood chips and put mm. them in, if you get like hickory or some of those, they're quite oily. Ah. So, the... When the smoke comes up and around the meat, whatever you put there, it gets the flavour in and adds flavour to the meat. And it actually does put a little bit of a coating on it. I love it. But Beautiful. because it's so been healthy. burnt, yes. it, there's no, no chance of any um, problems. Sure. It's just the flavouring comes up. And it's all natural, So you're of locking in all the flavours, you're keeping yeah. all the moisture in there, you're adding flavour to the food as well. Yeah. So a really perfect Christmas present. Every I'll show you a few more things that the 5-in-1 can do, though, including kebabs. Oh, how cool is that? That's awesome. They're big kebabs. Well, they are. And people think that a kebab, a way of cooking kebabs is just so simple. But no. the man law guys have said, hang on, hang on. There's a, there's a big problem when we're doing kebabs yep. is that when you will want to turn the kebab to cook the other side, yeah. they slip. So when you've got the normal the little tongs, or not like the, the round rods, yes. the kebabs will slip around. So the bit of meat will slip, slip, slip. Got you. So what Manlaw did is they have made one which is actually flat. It's like a blade of a knife. Gotcha. And when you put it through, it makes it very easy to pierce your meat. Mm -hmm. But then when you rotate it, it stays where it's, where it's been put. Meant to be. So you can get a nice even cook. I like it. So even can things you, like Can that. you touch those though? Yes. You can? Yeah, 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 yeah. Not, I mean, when you're cooking? Yeah. Yeah, okay, fantastic. Yeah. Right at the end, and they might be warm, but they don't get very hot. Good. Because of the, the way the stainless steel is guarded. Great, okay. So this is like the guard. I like the way it's suspended, so it's almost like a rotisserie type mm. cooking idea. Yeah. Uh, one